Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a water tower for all of your city building needs. Fun fact, the water tower actually works as well. Watch until the very end of the video to see where we place the tower in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the tower, including a handy grid which you can choose to copy that will also show you the starting position. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing six stone brick wall on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And then extend all the way down. We then want to place another row of six stone brick wall extending up from this block. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And then extend all the way down to the ground. We then want to place another row of six extending up from this position, which we no longer need to count out as we have the other rows to measure with. And then we want to extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And then all the way down to the ground. And then one more time, we want to place a row of six stone brick wall extending up from this block. Extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four, and then all the way down to the ground. To give us this. We then want to extend all of the rows of six stone brick wall up an additional row. So these are the original rows. Like this. We then want to further extend our rows of six up an additional wall. So this is just the original rows that are on the left and right sides here, which will give us this. We then want to place a row of smooth stone on top of and connecting each one of these walls together, just like this. We then want to fill the middle of this area in using smooth stone. We then want to place a row of white concrete starting here. We place a row of one, two, three, and then another row, one, two, three, another row, one, two, three, and then one more, one, two, three, just like this. We then want to place rows of four quartz pillar on top of our white concrete. One, two, three, four. And we specifically want it to face vertically, as you can see. Now that we've done that, we are going to place stone buttons along the left and right sides of the water tower on the front and also the back as well. So these are just placed on these outer rows of quartz pillar, just like this. We then want to add a roof onto this. The easiest way to do it is by placing a row of mangrove planks along the top of the quartz pillar. Then we will place mangrove slams along the lower part of the planks, just extending out along the sides, just like this. We are then going to place a layer of mangrove slabs above and inside of our mangrove planks. And then we will place an additional plank just up at the top here, like this and that is the roof of the water tower. Next, we are going to place a row of stone slabs around the outside of the top of our smooth stone. 
We then want to place iron bars on top of the stone slab. We then want to drop underneath our water tower and place a row of one, two, three white shulker boxes extending down from the center of our smooth stone. We then want to place a hopper underneath this and a dispenser underneath that, specifically facing down. We then want to attach a lever to the dispenser. I'm going to place it on the right side and I'm also going to place a bucket of water in the dispenser as well, which we aren't going to activate yet, as we now want to dig in the ground below the dispenser, place a spruce plank, dig around the spruce plank, fill all of that in with planks, place spruce trap doors flipped up all the way around the spruce planks, just like this, and now, if we activate this, we can fill our little spruce bucket, for a lack of a better term, with water. Lastly, we are going to want to be able to climb up to the tower, as that is one of the funnest parts of having a water tower. And to do that, we are going to place a series of barrier blocks underneath the front center stone slab at the front of the tower. We are going to remove that slab and the iron bar as well, and we'll stick an additional barrier. We can then attach ladders all the way onto the barrier blocks like this. And I'm also just going to add some ladders up the right side of the water tower as well. And there we go. Just like that, we have now 100% fully completed this tutorial. However, this video is not over. We must now add our water tower into our city. So, it would most make sense to place a water tower somewhere that we can't 100% fully guarantee that we are going to have running water whenever we want it. I actually have a couple of good places for this in the city already. So, number one, we do have the campsite, but I'm not really feeling the vibe of the water tower here. It's kind of a complete set build as it is. However, we do also have our caravan park, which would also benefit from water on demand. So, I'm thinking that we place the water tower right here, and I think that it looks great, and it makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to watch any more of my videos, check out the Mini City Builds playlist. And if you would like to download every single build in this city, consider becoming a channel member. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.